So let's start. In three, two, one, go. Okay, so let's start from the very, very beginning. I was born this way. I have always been super, super thin all my life. Around high school, I was about 30 to 35 kilos and I'm 5'1", so that's underweight, sobra. And I knew because people told me, as in everyday people would tell me, Nagda-diet ka ba? Bakit ganyan yung weight mo? Magpataba ka naman! And it's so frustrating when people tell you, Uy, kumain ka naman! Kasi I think that when people see a very thin person, they automatically assume that it's their choice. It's so frustrating. Kasi kahit gusto mong baguhin, hindi mo alam paano. At kahit alam mo kung paano, hindi mo alam kung paano gawin yun. Alam mo yun? Like, I was just born this way. Anong magagawa ko? Wala eh. Ganito akong pinanganak eh. It's genetic. Ganito yung mommy ko dati. Ganito lahat ng mga kapatid ko. And in my mind, that was always the excuse for me. Continuing on, dami kong sinabi. High school pa lang tayo guys. Sabi sa inyo, mahaba to eh. It was worse in college. Because in high school, people had undeveloped bodies. During college, their bodies started to develop. Nagiging mas... Mukha na silang kolehiyala, ikaw grade school pa din, ganun. So, it got worse in college as in I have heard so many things na mas masama. Like, uy, liliparin ka na, onting tulak ko lang. And then every time umuulan, people would tell me, uy, kapit ka! <laughs> uy, kalansay ka na! And then, pwede na akong mag-strum ng guitar sa'yo. Which is, nakakatawa siya. I mean, hindi naman siya offensive sa akin dati. Pero I have just heard those stuff a lot na naka-engrave na siya sa utak ko. Basta, people can get really creative. And it was just like a little joke between me and my friends. And it was just something that we laughed at. Parang yun lang yung pangpikon nila sa akin. Pero nung time na people who didn't know me started to judge me for my weight, feeling ko dun na nag-start yung problem ko with my self-esteem. Some people knew me on the internet who didn't really know me and they started to say stuff about me like, Uy, ang ganda mo sana, pero ang payat mo. Uy, tapon, katawan. Stuff like that. Basta, um, it's funny. I, I mean, I don't really care about what they think. Pero, when people say that to you in a daily basis, it makes you think that there's something wrong with you. And, that you shouldn't love yourself and that you should always live up to their standards, you know what I mean? Around college, I was 35 to 38 kilos and I was still 5'1". So that was still severely underweight, right? Naiintindihan ko kung bakit nila sinasabi sa akin yun kasi ang lala naman talaga yun. Pero I know people who are experiencing the same way. I don't wanna be a hypocrite and say na don't care about what they say, just do you? Alam mo yun? Kasi mahirap gawin yun eh. Kasi I knew. Anyway, kung med school. Sorry nga ba ng kwento ko? Hindi ko alam kung nakikinig pa rin kayo. Kung med school, I earned about 2 kilos. So I was about 40 kilos. And 5'1 pa rin ako, syempre. And I don't know if it's because it's the 21st century or if it's because it's my age or if it's because of the social media trends ngayon. Pero everything became hyper-focused on the body. So you had to have bigger boobs, you had to have a small waist, a big hip, a big butt. Alam mo yun, like there were so many people around you telling you na kailangan ganito ka, kailangan ganito ka. So my issues only got worse again. <laughs> and I know that it's not very obvious, pero I am a very insecure person and I would always compare myself to the girls on the internet. I know I'm a girl on the internet, pero I would constantly compare myself to them and say, why can't I be like that? Why can't I be sexier? Why can't I look like a 23-year-old girl? Because I always felt like I was a 23-year-old girl trapped in a grade schooler's body. I just wanted to do something, change something, but I couldn't. I was in med school, I was super stressed, I was eating a lot of junk, I wasn't getting enough sleep, and I neglected my health, I didn't work out, so it just became a cycle. 
But then, the pandemic came. So, eto na guys! Eto na! Nandito na tayo sa tips! Nandito na tayo sa tips! Came pandemic, I think that's when I started to do a lot of lifestyle changes. In a span of a year, I gained 5 kilos. So, that has been my biggest achievement so far. Now, my BMI is about 18.9. Or something. Depende kasi kapag ginagamit kong 5'2 or 5'1 yung height ko. Kasi in denial pa rin akong 5'1 lang ako. Minsan iniisip ko 5'2 ako. Minsan 5'3 pa nga eh. Pero ayun, basta yung point, normal na yung BMI ko. And people started to notice it. After I started working out, dun ko na-realize, Uy, may improvement nga, no? I think this was the only time that I really noticed it for myself and that is why I finally have the courage to do this video. So my first tip for you would be to get into the right mindset. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, when I started on this weight gain journey, it wasn't for the aesthetics of it. I was doing it primarily for my health and it became such a routine to me already that I was just doing it because it was fun. What is the biggest advice you can give? You're gonna have massive changes during the start, but then when you get into a routine and when you start doing it more often, you're gonna plateau at some point, and that's when people stop. But that's when you should keep going. What motivated you to keep going? All these years, my weight gain journey was about them. I wanted to be better for society. I wanted to be sexy. I wanted to be more beautiful. Alam mo yun? But when I finally had this light bulb moment na sinasabi ko sa sarili ko na it's pandemic. Nobody's gonna see me. Nobody would care what I look like. Pero I still wanna do it. Because I wanted to do it for myself. If you're gonna be doing it for the other people, um, that's gonna be a temporary thing. But if you're gonna be doing it for yourself, that change will last a lifetime. Second, and I know this is gonna be hard to hear because you've been hearing it all your life. Pero totoo, kailangan mong mas kumain. <laughs> sorry, sorry sinasabi ko sa'yo, pero kailangan mong kumain. I don't really wanna get into the technicalities of it kasi hindi ko rin naman to ginagawa masyado. But if you're really, really determined to gain some weight, you should monitor your calorie intake. Ako kasi, I don't wanna push myself to eat when I don't wanna eat. I don't wanna keep tracking my calories kasi that's gonna take the fun out of eating. Gusto ko masaya lang ako kumakain, nanonood ng Netflix, ayoko yung search ko, how much calories is there in one egg? Ganon, ganon. Um, I didn't bother really with that, pero if you're really determined, First, you should consult a nutritionist. Sila talaga yung maraming alam about that. And maraming gumagawa ng mga plants online. Pero just to tell you the basics of it, there is this thing called total energy requirement. And that calorie intake, it's different for everybody depending on your weight, your height, um, how much physical activity you do, all that stuff. But that's the calorie needed to maintain your weight. So if you want to gain some weight, you have to go over and beyond that total energy requirement and have calorie surplus. So basically, you really have to eat more. What did you change with your diet? I started to eat more home-cooked meals. First, dahil wala akong choice, pandemic. And second, mas mura siya. Dati kasi, I was eating fast food every day. Kasi yun lang yung mabilis for school and yun lang yung mura when you're just a student, so I don't think it really helped me. I know they say that fast food makes you fat, but I ate fast food every day, it didn't work for me. So, I actually don't know. I think it depends on the person, but whatever. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, this isn't gonna be scientific-based. It's just gonna be me ranting. How many times do you eat in a day? Alam kong merong mga tao na hindi talaga nabubusog, na payat. Ako kasi, hindi ako yung ganong tipong tao. Merong mga tao na payat na hindi talaga nabubusog entirely. As in, ang dami kong nakikilalang mga taong ganon. Pero, ako kasi, mabilis ako mabusog, pero mabilis din ako magutog. So, I adjusted to that. I ate smaller but frequent meals. I think in a day, I would get about mga five na snacks. Just little snacks, just to get me through the day. And I think it helped a lot. And I also got on this program. It's from Keto Pesca. Um, it's a pescatarian diet. And it's not really for weight gain. More on diet siya, I think. Pero it was my only access to healthier food 
dito kasi sa Manila, we don't really go to the market a lot. And yung mga nakapack lang na food sa amin dito is yung mga for month long na, lalo na ngayong pandemic. So, mga frozen meat, ganun. So, wala kong daily source of vegetables and fish. So, um, I got on the keto pesca diet for that one. Pero it can be quite expensive. So, I don't really suggest that if you're on a budget. Pero that was a total of three meals and a dessert. Good for a whole day, supposedly. Pero what I would do is I would eat that during the day. And then for my midnight snack and my dinner, I would eat something na home-cooked dito sa bahay. My third piece of advice for you would be to work out. Feeling ko talaga ito yung nagpabago ng structure ng katawan ko kasi ito yung sobrang nagpago sa sistema ko. When the pandemic happened, I started to work out intensively. Well, I don't know if it's intense for you, pero like coming from somebody who didn't work out ng kahit ano before, I started to work out four to five times a week, 45 minutes each day. And that would be a full body workout. Kunwari, for my first day, I would do my arms. Second day, I would do my butt. Third day, I would do my core. In total, I think I have done about mga 11 months of workout, 10 months of workout. What workout program do you suggest? For workouts, I suggest Pamela Reef. Kasi siya talaga yung nagpapahago ng structure ng katawan ko. And she was really helpful to me, lalo na nung wala pa ako masyadong alam about workouts. She would provide weekly programs na full body and everything you need to know, sasabihin na niya doon. You don't really have to research pa on what other exercises you should do. She has weights, she has booty resistance bands, she continually changes up the weekly programs. So, alam mong merong increase in intensity yung mga programs niya. Every week, it gets harder, so hindi ka magplaplatu. Basta, she has been such a big help to me. Pero, if not, you can also research your own. There are plenty of information online right now. If you don't like Pamela Reef, merong mga ibang YouTubers dyan na they also provide weekly programs. Basta, I just wanna remind you, ito kasi yung ginagawa ko dati. Nung bata ako, in my younger years, all I would do is butt workout. Kasi feeling ko, uy, kapag lumaki yung butt ko, baka magmukha na akong may shape. Kasi para payat yung dito, tas biglang ganon. Ganon yung... <laughs> ganon lang yung gusto ko noon. Pero, I just wanna say na that's wrong. You should do a full body workout. Ngayon lang ako nag-workout ng upper body all my life and it has helped me a lot. Like, feeling ko talaga ito yung nagiging basis ng mga tao sa pagsabi na tumataba na ako. So, you should do full body workouts. Wag lang core, wag lang butt. Okay, don't be selective. Do it all. What else can I say? I'm not really an expert in working out. I don't have the proper form in everything that I do. So, I can't really release a workout video. I just follow Pamela Reeves. Um, I think my fourth tip would be for you to wait it out. Because there is really evidence that says that metabolism slows down as you age. And a lot of people na payat nung bata sila, tas tumaba na ngayon, they would tell me, magsisisi ka na kasi gusto mong tumaba. Dati ganyan din ako, mas payat pa nga ako sa'yo. Yan yung mga sinasabi nila sa akin when I would ask advice from them. Kasi I wanted to research and get their opinion also. And in a way, that is true because metabolism really does slow down as you age. So if you want to gain weight, I guess just wait it out. Pero I just want to say na hindi magiging maganda yung composition ng katawan mo nun, um, if you don't accompany it with a good diet and workout. So yung dalawa talaga, dalawang tip ko, first three tips, I think yun talaga yung mga important. So what else can I change? Um, may mga taong tumataba sa stress, may mga taong pumapayat sa stress. I don't know which one you are. Ako kasi pumapayat ako kasi I tend to not eat, not sleep, not do anything when I'm stressed. Just cry and try to focus all my energy on my work. So, I can't really say much about that. Pero I think the pandemic has really helped me kasi I got into the right sleeping patterns. I got into the right sleeping time. I nakakuha na ako ng 8 hours of sleep, guys. That's very rare for me. And um, nabawasan yung stress ko, syempre, pero nakaka-stress pa rin yung gobyerno. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, this is not gonna be a very intensive tutorial kasi hindi ko rin talaga alam kung anong nagpataba sa akin. 
I just realized na one day, uy, okay na tong katawan ko. I don't feel so insecure anymore. So, if you have any more tips that you want to share with other people because I want this to be a community for our little bones, you can share them in the comment section below. You can share your stories. I will be reading them one by one. I just really want to let you know that really want to let you know that you're not alone in this battle and you're gonna get through this and you're beautiful whether you have small bones or a toned body or a slightly bigger body you're beautiful as long as you think you're beautiful you're beautiful as long as you're healthy you're beautiful as long as you feel good about yourself so focus on that don't focus on gaining weight for them focus on you do it for you and everything else will follow i think that's just about it to love yourself, you have to focus on the things that you hate about yourself. Come into terms with that. Don't ignore it. Face it head on. Do something about it. Yun naman talaga yung biggest enemy natin dito eh. Hindi yung pagtaba or yung pagpayat. But really ourselves and our self-esteem. For some people, this may not mean much. I know I still don't have the perfect body. I know I'm still, I can do so much better. Pero this has been a lifelong journey for me. I gained my first 5 kilos during my 9 years of being insecure and I gained another 5 kilos in just one year when I started to do it for the right reason. It may not mean much to a lot of people pero every kilo was hard work for me. As in every pound that was added to my weight, I was so happy and I was, I just wanted to maintain it. Some people wouldn't understand. Some people would even dream to be in our position. Yung tipong, sana kain lang ako ng kain, pero di ako tumataba. And that would make me feel bad about myself. That would make me feel like my problems are small and that they're irrelevant and that I shouldn't feel this way. Growing up, yun talaga yung iniisip ko sa sarili ko. Ay, baka blessed ako na ganito ako. Pero why would I feel bad about it? Why do I feel so bad about myself? if so many people are dreaming about my position and I realize na they don't understand but you and me if you're still watching up to now you and I understand when I shared my transformation journey a lot of you reached out to me and told me na at Erika sana ako din tumaba and I realized na it's not just my problem a lot of people are going through it to end this video I just wanna say that I love your little bones. Your little bones are okay. Your body does so much work for you. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Pero you should still be able to love your body enough to do something about it. And it doesn't have to be a massive change. It doesn't matter if nothing changes. Basta make some changes to your lifestyle like eating and working out. Um, I still have a lot of work to do, I am aware. And so it's going to be a journey that we're going to be taking together. So if you're still watching up to now, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this video, then please press like. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow my Instagram account at Erika Rivara. I am much more active on Instagram. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video and thank you for bearing with my dog. Sleepy na siya ngayon after playing with me so much. So finally to my na siya. So good night everybody. Say good night. Or good morning. Or good afternoon. Whatever time you're watching this. Bye!